horse friends, I'm Becca Salmon and this is Southern Horse Talk. Welcome back to another episode of Vet Call with Dr. E. Dr. Judd Easterwood joins us every month. He's with Easterwood Equine Hospital and he shares his vet tips and practices with us and we appreciate him coming on very much. How are you doing today, Dr. E? Good, Rebecca. Thank you for having me again. Yeah, yeah, we're so glad you're here. And uh, last time I think we talked about winter colic. So if you know, folks want to go over to the Southern Horse Talk YouTube channel, they can check that out and subscribe for future updates of this. And today we wanted to talk about eye injuries, you know, what some common injuries are and what we can do to treat them and maybe prevent them. So uh, first of all, just tell people how serious it is when horses have eye problems. Sure, we've seen a lot of, well, quite a few cases of eye injuries in the last couple of months here at Eastwood Equine. So just thought it'd be a good topic. Uh, you know, eye injuries are pretty common in horses because their eyes are so prominent. Uh, uh, stick out so to speak so uh, a couple of different things that we see most commonly are lacerations or cut around the eyes and then also uh, real commonly we see eye ulcers when horses can suffer some trauma to their cornea and uh, may have a slight infection secondary to that so uh, those are just some real common things that we see okay yeah I was reading that um, a lot of times horses like in the fly season they'll be rubbing their head and their eyes a lot and so in, you know, in your stall or in your pasture, you need to be sure you don't have sharp objects. And one of the main culprits was bucket hooks. Is that right? It, it actually is, yes. The hooks where the buckets attach, uh, where the hook is hooked up. Uh, sometimes a horse can catch their eyelid on those and actually rip their eyelid off. And uh, sometimes we'll see those eyelid lacerations. Those can be very serious. Any eye injury is an emergency. So if you come in, obviously, and you see a laceration, you need to call your vet right away. Also, if the horse is swinging or tearing a lot, acting like their eyes painful, that can be serious as well. Yeah, and so, so what causes a horse to get an ulcer in the eye in the first place? Like I said, it could be caused from rubbing or trying to scratch their eye or just uh, any common uh, scratch or trauma to the cornea. Uh, it could be from, say, a pine needle scraping the eye or anything like that, another horse's tail whipping them in the eye. Uh, sawdust shavings can cause it. So any sort of scratch to the cornea can uh, kind of predispose them to get a corneal ulcer. And that's just an erosion in the superficial layer of the cornea. And uh, those can be serious as well. If they're left untreated, sometimes they can't get deeper and then be really serious. Okay, and, and uh, I'd heard at one time that you have about 24 hours to get an eye injury fixed before you got some serious problems. Is that about right? <laughs> The laceration, you want to try to get it fixed within 24 hours, so that you got a good chance for that to heal back. And then ulcers, also, you want to kind of be ahead of the eight ball on them so you don't lose any ground with them. So a lot of times with those, you have to treat them with antibiotic ointment, topical ointments in the eye, and anti-inflammatory to help quieten that down. Uh, so definitely any type of eye problem you have, it's best to be proactive rather than behind the eight ball on it. Yeah, and, and how often do you see horses that have foreign bodies that are actually under the eyelids? Uh, not commonly, but we do see them. It's always a good idea to check for those. If you, you know, if you notice that your horse is squinting, you know, try to flush it out to see if you can figure out what's wrong. But a lot of times you have to do a special stain to know exactly what's going on. So it's good to contact your vet and just get some uh, get some guidance there. Okay. And, and another thing that I was reading is that um, you know, if a horse has you know perky eyelashes on one side, but kind of eyelashes that are down on the other side, that that could indicate that they injured their eye out in the pasture or something. That's correct. On a normal eye, the eyelashes should be sort of uh, parallel to the ground or the floor. And on a horse that may be squinting or having some pain in his eye, those lashes should be tipped down towards the floor. So that's a good way to look at your horse and see if they're having any potential eye pain. Okay. So so when you come out, you know, what, what would you do for a typical eye injury? Well, first of all, we just do a, a good exam, you know, and we've got a special scope that we can look into the eye to see, uh, you know, to see if we can figure out what's going on. And sometimes, again, we do have to provide some special stains to see if there's a, you know, corneal trauma or uh, abrasion or even an ulcer in particular cases. Uh, sometimes it won't be an ulcer or a laceration. Commonly, we also see what we call uveitis, which is an inflammation of the front part of the eye. And that can occur in older horses, but that's another real common thing that can happen in horses. Okay. All right. Well, I appreciate you sharing your knowledge. And where can folks go to find more information about you and Easterwood Equine? No, they can go to my website at easterwoodequine.com or just give us a call at 205-663-4000. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you sharing every month. And folks, again, you can go to the YouTube channel and subscribe so you can get updates on Vet Call with Dr. E every month. 
And also go over to the Southern Horse Talk Facebook group, join over there, share your horse story, your picture videos, and help us share the Southern equine lifestyle.